Okay, good morning, y'all. It is Comic-Con Day, and guess who's here? What's up, Robin? Good morning. Good morning. Good morning to you, too. It's about 8.40. We'll probably leave around 9.30. We've got this Breakfast of Champions, though. Look at that. That actually looks pretty good, though. No scorch berries in this one. <laughs> oh, yeah, I burned the pancakes last time. These times, they're, these times they look edible. <laughs> Okay, yeah, this is definitely one of my favorite mugs. It's not one of the craziest things. Um, Cause like the, the Ferris wheel, that one's like, that one's just insane. Like with all the moving parts and everything. But um, man, I have such a soft spot for Revenge. Anything Revenge of the Sith, anything uh, 501st. Uh, I, lo I love the detail actually that they did on the steps and how they, uh, they were able to use the tiles for that. I think that's a really nice touch there. Okay, our first grabs here were actually comic books, uh, funny enough. I was looking for the first appearance of John Walker, like in the Captain America costume. Um, I didn't end up finding it. I found the one that led into it, but um, we're actually collectively looking for something. Pope John Paul II. The <laughs> yeah, certain Pope. Pope. John Paul II. <laughs> I had no idea this comic existed until like last night when you brought it to my attention. Now I like really want it. You're welcome. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, I don't know if it's for sale, but oh my gosh, dude, it's one like I have that set, the old Toy Story set. I, I, I think someone might be buying it though, but if, if they aren't, I'm gonna ask about that. Oh my gosh, I had this set as a kid too. I, I think I remember buying it at like a superstore because my grandma like gave me money for it. Um, and that was like for my birthday or something. I'm pretty sure it's like all in pieces now. This one's not sealed, but um, man, I have not seen these old Toy Story sets in a hot minute, man. All right, this one's not a sealed box here, but um, still very nice. Um, the box is in bad shape. There's like a little bit of stuff there, but still. I remember, I think I bought this one at the Mall of America in Minneapolis, I think I remember. Um, I think my grandma, my, my mom's, uh, like my mom's mom, like on that side of the family got it for me as a kid there. Uh, really cool set. I actually just uh, fixed my Zerg because the cape was a little uh, beaten on it. I just replaced that. So I do have the figures in it, but um, yeah, really nice set. Should I Bob Starfighter? I already have this one, but actually 30 bones. 30 bones, uh, it's sealed in box and everything. Um, not bad, honestly. Uh, I still want to check out, see if there's more, any more Lego, but I might mosey on over and come back for this one. Oh, uh, dude, check this out. 20th anniversary of Avengers of the Sith next year. Um, I definitely want to get more of these card backs. I have the Anakin and some of the clone troop. Ooh, the ba Super Battle Droid. That one's actually pretty nice. Um, not a bad card on that one, too. Um, if they have the Obi-Wan... Uh, oh, there's George Lucas' son. If they have the Obi-Wan... Um, Oh, the Magna Guard. The Magna Guard. Ten bones. Wow, that one's pretty nice, too. Um, oh, there's a Commander Apo. There's a Commander Apo. Actually, I grabbed a Toys R Us the other day. Oh, there's the uh, the Jesse that I need, too. Um, I don't think I'll get him at <laughs> that price. Ooh, 2D Clone Wars uh, Art Trooper here. Actually, a nice wall. Uh, dude, dude, I literally got this at Toys R Us, man. Here. See if, ooh, 2D, 2D Clone Wars Barris. Um, I kind of have, this looks like mostly newer TBC. I kind of have everything that I kind of want from Vintage. Ooh, old Django. A uh, hundred pounds. Oh, it's on Punch 2. Okay, that's pretty sick. The fact that it's on Punch 2. Um, the card's in pretty nice shape. <laughs> that's, a, that's, a, that's really cool, actually. Um, I don't know if I want to drop a hundred on that, but that is, that is pretty damn cool, if I, if I must say. Oh, there's a companion uh, to the other Boba. Because there's like, that's like the Kenner color ones. That's I kind of base. This one's based off another comic. I think this one's just kind of the re-release, but that's the companion to the other Bobo over there, right there, that one. There's the, uh, the, the other one. This is like the based off the, uh, the comic, the first appearance of both. This one's really cool. I really like this figure. That one's really sick. I think my cousin had this one. He might've sold it, I'm not sure. Uh, he was showing it to me when he first got it and he was like, yo, dude, this is sick. Uh, you definitely need to grab this one. I never did. I don't know if I still will. It is cool, but I have so many Boba Fett stuff at home already. Ooh, Droids Boba. Droids Boba, that one's cool. I like that one. There's the Black Series one of that too. Um, I kind of like the TBC one a little bit more though, because it's a little bit more faithful kind of to the original figure. Hey, first edition Kylo here, actually 50 bones. Uh, I'm not really looking to grab any Black Series. Uh, if I'm grabbing any Star Wars figures, I'm probably grabbing TBC. I don't know. I like Black Series still, but I have so many now at this point that I don't really need. Ooh, they have Hunter. Uh, he just got released. If, if this was like one year ago, I'd be so over Hunter and Crosshair, but I already got them. Okay, I want to see if I can find any more Lego around here. So I do really dig that Django Fett, and the fact it's unpunched is pretty cool. But I, and I, might, I feel I might be able to wheel in for a little bit less, but I do want to see if I can find any more Lego around here, specifically Ninjago. I'm actually looking for some Ninjago stuff, because uh, the childhood nostalgia is hidden hard there. Uh, here we go. We got some uh, legit Lego here. 
106, or sorry, that's 110. Um, ooh, the box is a little, I don't know if you can see that. It's a little bit creased on there. I remember this set, I had this set. Um, I don't see any, I'm, I'm not, like it's mostly newer stuff. I'm not really looking, or I guess like new slash recently retired. I should probably bucks for the battle pack here. It's not actually too bad. Um, 30, no, this literally, this literally just retired a little while ago. Um, this, this is retail, but the box is pretty dinged up. Um, yeah, I'm seeing mostly newer stuff slash kind of semi-recently retired stuff. Uh, see if I have any Ninjago kind of buried in the back though. Oh, this is the 2020? I think, yeah, this is the 2020 advent calendar. I mean, I actually, I don't have this advent calendar. Honestly, getting an old advent calendar, they have, uh, which one is this? I think this is 2016. Um, yeah, I think that one's 2016 because that's like Rogue One stuff in it. But honestly, or maybe 20, no, 2017 because Rose is in it. Um, but honestly, getting an older advent calendar and opening it this year for Christmas, honestly, would be kind of sick. Um, I don't see any Ninjago's though. Um, cause I was trying to see if they have any of the, like the, oh, there's, there's something Ninjago. That's not really what I was looking for. This is a bit newer. Um, I was looking for, um, like 2012, like the, the Rise of the Snakes kind of stuff, Ninjago stuff. Oh dude, I actually remember I got this, um, as a pre-order bonus from GameStop for, uh, pre-ordering, um, the, uh, the Force Awakens game. I remember that. Um, not seeing any like crazy. I think the only poly bags I'd really be looking for is that one's like brand new or newish. Uh, I think the only poly bags I'd be really looking for is like Clone Wars kind of kind of era stuff. Um, yeah, that one's, that one's okay, A Wing Pilot. But yeah, like clawing, kind of like 2010 kind of poly bags. I'm not. I think this one's older. This one might be a little bit older. Not seeing any 2010 era poly bags. That's like 2020. That one's like 2017. This one's a bit older, but. Guys, I swear they're not many figures. They're block figures. Hey, look, it's me. I mean, pretty close, right? Oh my gosh, dude, check this out. Old school Captain Rex, um, Clone Wars. Uh, I don't see a price on it. The cart is in really nice shape though. This is like basically mint condition. Um, it's the American box here. It's not the Clone Wars uh, Canadian one because it had like the Clone Wars in French on there too. Um, I think this is the general release because there's two. There's like a mail in order and there's like a general one. Uh, looks like the rest of what I'm kind of seeing, it mostly seems like newer stuff, like you got a bunch of the new TVC stuff. Pretty much have, oh, the artillery, I didn't grab the artillery stormtrooper. Um, I don't think I really need it though. Um, it's mostly just stuff that's come out in like the last kind of like three or four years kind of thing. Um, but this Captain Rex, man, I mean, I, I like the new Captain Rex, but man, that OG packaging, oh my gosh, there's so much glaring up. That OG packaging is truly something else. Um, this will go great with the Anakin too, because I have the, um, there we go, we got a little less glare off on it. Uh, this will go great with the Anakin, because um, uh, I have the Clone Wars Anakin from the same era too. Commander Bakara is pretty nice though. I, I, do, I do quite like him. Um, I, I am a sucker for that Clone Wars packaging. Um, I do really like him. They did have a Grievous down here. I think this one might be reserved though, maybe. Yeah, purchaser, so it looks like someone already grabbed it. I don't, I don't see a sticker on this one, so I really hope someone didn't reserve that one, because I definitely want to leave with that. Ooh, there's actually um, Imperial Crosshair um, in the back here, actually. Um, I, I have this guy. I, I think I mentioned last year, actually. Um, they had, at another booth, they had one sealed. Um, I do kind of, I love this figure. Like, I, I think I said it before, it's my favorite Black Series figure. Um, I would not mind having one sealed. Um, a box is, the box is a little beat up, but honest, I mean, I'm, I'm never going to kind of sell things. They do have just... I did it again. The box is more beat up now. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, man. I'm sorry, man. <laughs> Hopefully this is live. Oh, oh, it's not, thankfully. Oh, darn. Two, there, I gotta focus. Um, I, I don't wanna, I don't wanna push these again because I'm gonna knock them down again. But they actually have Jesse in the back um, there, too. Um, I don't have, Je oh, you're, oh. <laughs> there we go, thank you, thank you, Robin. I still carry these, that's okay, but they have Jesse in the back, too. Um, depending on, depending on the price, I might actually, I grab that one, too, because I have Echo and I have Fives. I just recently got Echo, my buddy Spice Runner, uh, toys on IG, uh, he hooked me up with that. Um, I might have to get Jesse, too, to complete the, uh, the set. Okay, I ended up scoring the uh, the Captain Rex was twenty bucks, and that's that was I was like already sold on that because I see those like that figure for like thirty bucks on eBay. Sometimes even pushing forty if you include shipping on it. So I'm like twenty bucks is right here right now, and then I'll take that. Jesse, um, he wanted fifty. I ended up wheeling them both for sixty five, um, so like five bucks off. But that was already pretty good because I think Jesse with tax it would have cost me forty eight bucks if I bought it at Walmart. So not a bad haul, not a bad haul. Definitely, def definitely happy with that one. Win a Toys R Us shopping spree. 
another. Oh, I could win two Toys R Us shopping sprees. I wonder if it's still active. I don't really see anything that I need to grab, but actually the prices here, these are solid. Like, is this figure, that one retails for, I think like $42.99, I think at Walmart is an exclusive. Oh, hello. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, oh my goodness. Uh, yeah, and this one's like a Toys R Us exclusive. You know Toys R Us jacks at the price of, I don't really need them, but shout out to the prices here. These guys are, these guys are wheeling some deals. I don't even have to ask. Oh yeah, and this like R2 retails for, I think like $24.99 because it's a Walmart exclusive. And this one's not, this one's not even in store anymore. So that's like already less than retail into like a, how much is a Boba actually? Um, 30 bucks. Yeah, I think this one, that one was like a little bit more expensive because that was a Toys R Us one. I think, I want to say that one was like $33.99 Canadian. So yeah, really, really great price. I wish there was something I needed here because this is probably this is probably some of the best prices I've seen all of all the convention. I have this guy, um, twenty five. Okay, that's retail, but still, that's that's still solid. I mean, you can't find it in store anymore anyway. So like retail, that's that's really solid. Yeah, again, I wish I wish I wish I needed something from here because this place got some great prices, but I kind of already got everything that I want. <laughs> Not seeing any Ninjago buried in the back here, but I always love these old Harry Potter sets. Uh, like I, I never collect, I never, I, I haven't even seen Harry Potter in probably like, gosh, maybe even a decade. Like I'm not a Harry Potter guy, but I don't know. Like these kind of, these old sets, they bring me back to the 2000s. Cause I always remember seeing them at like Toys R Us. They're always next to the Star Wars. I always, I remember I'd always go like, okay, Harry Potter, nope, brush over that. And then head directly to the Star Wars. But yeah, no Ninjago, uh, none at all. Not even like the last one. Awesome costume, man. That's awesome. Thank you so much. Holy crap. Okay, this one's from my cousin Cameron. Uh, shout out to him. Um, yo, dude, check these out. Um, yeah, man. Uh, oh, my goodness. I, I can't even met. Oh, there you go. There you go. Um, <laughs> yo, that's really cool, though. I graded packs. Like, I, I would never buy something like this, but it's always really cool to see kind of thing. Um, and they have, like, the starters um, over there. And then they have even more... Um, even more. You know what would be actually sick, actually, is having this frame. I don't know if you know, but there's, like, error packs where they accidentally printed the first edition. They had to put, like, a little triangle on it. That would be sick, honestly, to have those framed and graded. Like, again, I'm not I'm not into grading packs kind of thing, but, like, that 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 is one thing that would be really sick. Just throw that up on the wall like they have here. Oh, my goodness. Uh, they literally just remade this as a... I haven't seen it yet, but they literally just remade this set as a, in the Black Series. And it's, like, I think the box on it's red instead of green but they literally just remade this one. So this one's like the original. Um, that's cool. I think I mentioned this before. I don't have a crazy nostalgia of the episode one stuff because obviously I didn't grow up with this. Like I'm more of a Clone Wars guy. Obviously you can see with the Captain Rex I grabbed earlier, but um, I, I can still appreciate, I can still really appreciate this era of stuff. Okay, how many, how many, how many comic shops do you reckon we've been to? Six, five, yeah. six. We've been to like a couple and like, what was it two i think one or two like they said that they had it like yesterday yeah, or they two. had it it was two yeah right? it's, they had the life of pope john paul the second and someone specifically asked about it, and got it. yeah so it's not just us apparently yeah. who's on this yeah. expedition however however apparently there's a whole series of them um we got like saint uh, francis of yeah. assisi and mother Teresa of calcutta <laughs> yeah so apparently there's like a whole series of them so we're still on the hunt for pope john paul the second come back come back I don't think he's coming back. Oh, I like this set. I think this one's getting a re-release though. Oh my gosh, I can see myself in the camera. Yo, what's up? Um, I think this one's getting a re-release though. I think it's gonna be like 60 re-release. I, I think Amazon was getting like reissues or something because they're doing like that whole thing of uh, reissuing like demanded Black Series figures. A lot of the old uh, the older sets here, there's like the Luke and Wampa set, um, the droid set. I actually, I don't think I'd buy it, but I'd love to see it because I've never seen it before. It's that uh, the clone set with the I think it's what, 501st, 212, Shock Trooper, and then like the 442nd Siege Battalion. I don't see that anymore, but uh, I've never seen that set before. Actually, I think, I might be wrong. I think this is from the Kenner days. The, uh, it could like, you'd, it would hold your Star Wars toys. That was the idea of it. I think, I think that is, because my dad always tell me the story um, that his friend growing up uh, had this, and like a Millennium Falcon one, I think, and it held, held their Star Wars toys. It was really cool. He always told me stories about growing up, going over to his house just to play with his Star Wars toys. Well, look at this. Old school Kenner stuff. Uh, look at that R two D two. That's so sick. Um, oh, there's even like an old uh, old sticker on it from uh, some store. Um, oh, that just says your price. That's how they said the store on it. That's really cool. The old Haas set here too. Old sail barge. Uh, some more. Just uh, yeah, it's just some more over here. Oh my goodness. There's even more on this side. Um, I think I think I remember this place last year. I think I think I stopped by here. They had a bunch of. Oh, there's the the Darth Vader uh, Star Destroyer one uh, that has his meditation chamber in it. 
Yeah, okay, that's that's pretty. Oh my gosh, look, look at that. He's just like hanging from there. Uh, oh, boss, boss came in this set too, or those figures just for like display. Um, it's like toys not included. <laughs> yeah, I think I remember this from last year though. He also ha had like a bunch. Was oh, that an old? Uh, oh, that is uh, the old droids one. Uh, that's that would be cool. Like to compare with, or uh, not just compare, but also have it to like on your shelf to contrast with the. Uh, the new uh, release packagings or newer release ones. There's some more Kenner stuff just loose there. Look at all those Bobas. Oh, those look so, so sick. Chewbacca, Luke. Oh, there's Endor Leia there too. Han Solo's. <laughs> he looks so goofy. These all look goofy. They're, they're, they're endearing. They're, they have a charm to them though. Yeah, I've had no luck with uh, the Ninjago search though. I saw the one set and that was like way past the, uh, the era that I was looking for. So I might end up grabbing on the, uh, the Django Fett there. I'm not entirely sure on that. There's still quite a, there's about half the convention that I still have to look through. So, hey, maybe, maybe there'll be some Ninjago stuff there or even some old Star Wars stuff. But yeah, that's the stats we're at right now. Oh my goodness. Um, I found a figure I've been looking for for a very long time. Um, it is a VC. I'm pretty sure, oh, the, oh no, the card's dented. Oh no. I mean, 30 foot bucks still is not bad. Um, it is a VC09. Both, and look, it even has the, uh, the sticker on it, uh, the uh, Boba Fett 3, with the purchase of any five Star Wars figures. He takes de details inside. Um, yeah, there you go, VCO9. I have been looking, yeah, the cards in a, it's not terrible actually, it's just that big dent right in, or I guess crease right in the corner. But um, if honestly, if I could wheel this in 2530, I've been looking for this for such a long time because it was, I think I want to say 22. I think 2022, my cousin was in Toronto for Toronto Expo or like, something like that like the big uh, convention there in canada um and he found one of these in a uh, really nice shape um and i saw that went holy crap um i need that and um i just haven't found one since and yeah if the price it is even though in the condition is um i don't know um okay so um this this might be the best stop of the afternoon because i found something else um that I, I i don't know if i've been looking for it but I've, it's been on my eye for a while um, this one is 120 bucks this is i think issue number two this one's uh number 12. um I, it was around 2008 they did um dark horse uh, who was still doing star wars comics at the time they did a bunch for the clone wars i wish i could get the glare off there but they did a bunch for the clone wars um and I, i've wanted them for a really long time um, there's, some of them are really expensive. Like I think the one with Anakin and Ahsoka issue number one. Um, that one, I think, I might be wrong. I might be wrong in this. I want to say a thousand bucks though. It's pretty expensive. Like this one issue number two. I, I'm, I'm sorry, as, as much as I love that art, I, I'm not dropping that. But this one, 15 bucks. Um, yeah, yeah, baby. Okay, that was a lot of fun. Did you have fun? Yeah. I had fun. Um, yeah, that was pretty crazy. Lots of really great costumes. Um, you met Elijah Wood and Billy Boyd. I did not. <laughs> You stuck a picture. Oh, yeah, I guess I did. And they got pissed at me. The funny part, though, is they got mad at me about it, though. Not even when I was like, sneaking the picture. It was actually when I was just watching the hockey game, which is kind of funny. But um, anyways, yeah, got some really cool pickups. So how about we go to check those out right now? Yeah, so this is pretty much my haul today. I didn't really go too crazy. Uh, I know, like, past conventions, like Calgary. Calgary, I, I'm pretty sure I balled out pretty hard in Calgary. I'm sure I yeah, I balled out pretty hard in Calgary because I got some of the autographs, too. But... I didn't end up finding any really Lego because I was looking for that Ninjago stuff. Um, I didn't end up finding it, so I'll probably just buy that somewhere else. I, I think my buddy Miles might be hooking me up with some stuff too. But I got this um, really when I, I wasn't looking for it, but when I first saw it, um, I'm like, yeah, definitely have to grab this because this will pair so nice with my Anakin. And I, I'm pretty sure this was the Captain Rex I had as a kid. I, it definitely wasn't the male in one, so this one isn't, I'm pretty sure. Um, and then this one, I, I've been looking for this Boba for so long. And once I saw it, I'm like, Damn, yeah, yeah, I'm leaving with this. And the fact it has a sticker too, uh, free Boba Fett. Um, yeah, that's, oh, it's such such a nice figure. I ended up getting this one for 30. Um, Jesse wanted 50 for it. Um, Cause I, I needed to complete my Arc Trooper collection there. Jesse was 50 there, um, but I bought him and Rex. So I cut a deal with the guy for 65. I thought that was pretty fair. And then the rest of the things, I just ended up getting some comics. This one though, this one though, I've been looking... Not specifically this one, but kind of just the set in general. Because um, I think it's just really cool that they're just kind of like Clone Wars comics. Um, and then I just picked up some other stuff. These ones were all like two bones. And then this one, this one's pretty cool. Like Captain America, no more. But um, Robin, you got some, some pretty special True. stuff. We got, we got Mother Teresa. St. Mother <laughs> Teresa. We got St. Francis Marvel comics that they made for some reason. <laughs> I we still couldn't think find it. John Paul II. <laughs> we, could. we could. I mean, we kind of did. We got like a hookup. With, we got a lead. We got, we a, got lead a lead. We got a lead. We can find one. We I didn't get a copy, unfortunately, because <laughs> some guy dressed as the Pope beat us to it. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah the Pope guy.
I still can't believe they actually made these. It's actually kind of insane. Oh, also, I forgot. I got some hockey cards, too, because I got to fuel that addiction. Although, this one's not for me. That one's for Alec, because he hooked me up, actually, with the 327th, uh, like, the fake Commander Cody, like, the quote-unquote Commander Cody. Um, he hooked me up with that um, from the shop in Calgary. So, I got him a Dustin Wolf Young Guns card uh, to say thank you to him. Okay, holy crap. I have news. Okay, so I'm just chilling. I was watching the game. Oh, there's like a big fight break out. Okay, so I'm like literally just chilling. I'm just watching the game. Um, and I was just texting my cousin, you know, like during breaks and stuff. And I showed him, he asked me, oh, what do you pick up at the convention? And I was like, you know, I got some cool comics, some hockey cards, some, uh, some, some figures. And then he actually pointed out, because I didn't even know this. I, I did know this existed, but I kind of just forgot in the moment because I was just kind of like, oh, cool. The figure I've been looking for for a really long time. But um, look at that sticker, because I mentioned the sticker before. I just thought the sticker was cool. Um, read the word Boba or the name Boba. Um, yeah, that's the error version of the, uh, of the Boba Fett figure. And I, I could only find one on eBay. Um, I'm sure there's more, but the, I, 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 the value on it is like 300 bucks. I don't know if that's 10 people were watching it though. So I don't know people were interested in it, but like, yeah, that's the error version of the card and it was only 30 bucks. Um, I'm not planning to sell it or anything cause I did actually just straight up want this figure. But the fact that it's the error version is actually just straight up sick. But yeah, that's going to do it for today's video, guys. Pretty crazy air on there. I didn't even know that I was really sick. But yeah, had a great time at the convention. Always fun to go to conventions and stuff like that. I think Robin had a great time, too. Great to see. I, I caught up with a bunch of other people, too. I didn't end up catching on camera. But yeah, really awesome time. Um, hope you guys did enjoy it as much as I did. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out, guys. Oh, I realized. I guess I did the, the peace out thing for a second. Anyways, peace out, guys.